Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. In the last one, we finished on Bernadette's and Petra's Paralog Chapter 4 Part 2. And we also went through a little bit of our many, many supports. In this one, we're going to continue on the support train and finish up a, a bunch of them uh, so we don't have to go through them again because once we go through them once, we don't have to go through them again. Unless it's the Edelgard route where like Hubert or something or Ferdinand might have something different. Obviously the retainer is going to have some new stuff so we would go through all the Huberts and Edelgards once we get to eat Black Eagles or Claude's for Claude's route. So with that we will be continuing on our support train so let's do Dorothea and Felix first. My goodness, I swear you're always training. Such a hard worker. So strong. Are you watching him? Hello? Felix? Oh, she's trying to talk to him. What? You're gonna make Felix mad. You can hear me. That's good. I was worried maybe your ears didn't work. What do you want? Yeah, what do you want? Um, nothing. Nothing in particular, I mean. But now that I'm here, and now that you've asked, when you've finished up, do you think you'd like to join me in the dining hall for something sweet? I'll pass. I don't like sweets. Also, you're a nuisance. Stay away from me. <laughs> Felix, that's rude. I thought we were on the same side in this war. Anyway, you sound like you're shooing away a stray cat. Shh, shut up. <laughs> I am not a stray cat, Felix, and I am not leaving until you take a moment to chat with me. Maybe he doesn't want to. <sighs> you are a pest. <laughs> Fine, do what you will. Oh, you better believe I am going to keep doing exactly what I will. <laughs> hmm, maybe instead of a sweet treat, we can get something spicy. Would you like that? I've heard the dining he doesn't want to eat with you. dish with some western spices in it. Mmm. Does that sound good, Felix? Would you like something spicy instead of sweet? He doesn't You're like distracting sweet food. Me. Also, he probably doesn't want to eat with when you. When I am hungry, I will eat alone. Stop squawking at me. Leave him alone, Dorothea. He doesn't want anything well, to do with you. Since you asked so nicely, I'll leave you in peace. Goodbye, Felix. Finally. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Okay. Let's see here. Sedith and Felix. I wonder how this is gonna go. May I help you, Sedith? Finally noticed me, I see. Good to see that you are so dedicated to your training. Do you have need of my sword? Yeah, do you, Sedith? No, this is not a military matter. I would like to discuss the distance you seem to be keeping from the others. Distance? I don't follow. I have noticed that you like to keep others at arm's length, and in most cases, quite a bit further. <laughs> Keeping a close eye on me. Obviously. They don't share my values, that's all. Is that why you train alone? Because your friends do not share your values? You seem displeased. I suppose well, you, you are, supp me you are to supposed to be friends. your enemies, you must have dependable allies. Probably exactly. That's not exactly how I would phrase it. But having good relationships with your allies is essential in combat. I am sure you realize that it is easier to bond with people when you interact with them more. Yeah. There are limits to what one person can do Obviously. alone. Great things cannot be achieved without allies. True. <laughs> you sound like my father. <laughs> You're saying it's in my own interest to make friends? To put it simply, yes. As much as you possibly can. To be honest, I envy you. Why is that? Because I know what it is like to not have many people to call friends. I wouldn't have guessed that. There are so many devout believers. I am talking about friends. People to speak with on equal terms. <laughs> you have many friends here. You should take care to attend to them. I'll consider your advice. But I'm not usually one to change my mind. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> ah, to be young. <laughs> 
you would know something about being young or old. You're, you're probably like a thousand years old, old or something. Because Geralt's like over a hundred. Brother! Flame, is something the matter? Yeah, is something the matter, Flame? I thought I made it clear that I do not want you meddling in the affairs of me and my friends. <laughs> He didn't I'm learn. not quite sure what you are referring to, but I promise you I would never try to stand in your way. It has come to my attention that you have been running about asking people what they think of me. Asking everyone! <laughs> well, of course I have. It took me quite some time. But for you, it was well worth the effort. I was able to confirm that you are getting along well with everyone. It was very reassuring. I cannot <laughs> emphasize enough how embarrassed I was when I found out. And you have caused such a stir for those whom you questioned. Why, one person even said he feared for his life when you cornered him in the dining hall. <laughs> the dining hall? Ah, I know the fellow you are referring to. Yes, I have seen the way he looks at you. <laughs> I recognized in an instant that he had impure feelings for you. As your brother, I took it upon myself to test his resolve. I merely asked him if he was prepared to lay his life on the line for my beloved sister. He is nothing more than a friend. Kindly keep out of my social business in the future. I am happy to Poor see that you are making friends. Court. But you should weigh your options more carefully. Suddenly. Who I befriend is absolutely none of your business. Why? Do you know what Why? they call people like you? I know Over you're like a very meddlers. protective father, but still. I am no longer a child. Are you incapable of trusting me, even a little? Of course I trust you, but as an elder brother, I have a certain responsibility. As my brother? <laughs> Obviously. Oh, never mind it. If you'll excuse me. I don't get why you guys are so calling each other brother and sister inside uh, his inside Seth's room. I'm pretty sure that would be a good place to talk normally. Let's do Raffi. Raffi and Bernadette. Part one. There he is. Okay, Bernie. You can do this. Oh! Bernadetta! Sorry. Just passing through. Didn't mean to scare you again. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. Actually, I came to talk to you. Really? I owe you an apology. It's, um, long overdue. Huh? What do you have to apologize for? I'm hopelessly terrified of you. So every time I see you, I kind of lose my mind. But once you're gone and I get time to calm down, I realize I'm making a big deal out of nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't tell you before. I feel awful. I hope you can forgive me. Come on now. It's alright. <laughs> I wasn't really that bothered by it. Promise. I should have been more careful not to scare you. I'm a big guy, and my muscles can be intimidating. <laughs> no. No, you did nothing wrong. It's all my fault. Aww. How about this? Let's say it's both our fault, and call it even. <laughs> but you know, I've been thinking. You really are scared of everything. Is there something we can do to fix that? Yeah. Y you mean like a cure? Is there a cure for that? Something like that. I think we can figure this out. Your biggest fear is talking to people, right? If that's <laughs> the case, you need to change the way you think about talking. Right now, you think it's bad, so you're afraid to do it. I figure if you talk to more people, then you'll think talking is good. Probably. It might be hard to suddenly start talking to people, though. You're going to need to take it slow. Oh, I know. Start with me. <laughs> with you? That'll be um tough. Maybe um <laughs> maybe if you turn around, face the other way. I guess if that's what you need. How's this? <laughs> I bet if you get used to talking to me, your fears will go away in no time. <laughs> I would hope. Uh, still really intimidating. Aww. But okay. I'll give it Perhaps a try. like the nicest guy in the army. Like, he's just trying to be nice. Okay. Let's do... 
Let's do a Gilbert one. Gilbert and Annette. Father! Father! Why do you pretend not to recognize me? Annette, I... Gilbert, answer. Please. I've been looking everywhere for you. Please stop treating me like a stranger. I can't bear it. <sighs> Come on, Gilbert. Father, wait! How long will you keep avoiding me like this? I have lost the right to face you or your mother. This has nothing to do with rights. We're family. I'm your daughter. Indeed, you are my daughter. Yet I am no father. I am only a fool who abandoned his family. You really think it was foolish to abandon us? I do. Then the least you can do is apologize. Aww. I'm fine, but Mother deserves as much. I finished my studies at the School of Sorcery and the Officer's Academy. I have a busy and satisfying life now. But Mother... She's waited for you to return all this time. Living under my uncle's roof. Aww. I... I am sorry, Annette. Come on, Gilbert. I already told you. Don't say that to me. Apologize to Mother. Let her see your face. That I cannot do. I know you do not understand. But it is the way of things. As for you, Annette. He feels say terrible word, about what he did. And I will or what he thinks from he your did. Life forever. For now, though, I must return to my duties. Father. How could you be so cruel? Don't worry. We'll we'll get his support built up before we end this game. There's no way I'm letting that support go by without fixing anything about it. Hey, Lysithia, what you doing here? Eat more cake. Ah, yes! These are the moments I live for! You live for eating cake? I don't understand you. <laughs> you again? Can't you see I'm busy? Trust me. I didn't mean to interrupt. So how did you like the cake? I bet you ate it, didn't you? You threw it away. I knew it was irresistible. Let me guess. What was the experience like? I'm curious he hates sugar. from a research perspective. I don't know. I didn't eat it. I gave it to some kid. <laughs> you gave it to some undeserving child? We've been over this. I don't like sweets. Yeah. Cake is not a sweet. Cake is the divine essence of the heavens. <laughs> Everyone has their own tastes. That's true, but life without cake is no life at all. Your dismissiveness regarding cake is inexcusable. Oh my god. I'm not sure why you're so fixated on this. Why, Sophia, you, you wonder why people think of you as a kid. magnificence of cakes. I don't understand how you can be so dispassionate about it. I don't know. I just don't like it. <laughs> just try a bite. Come on, open up. No, Felix I doesn't want it. He will slice it. your hand off if you try and force him to eat it. With care and attention, love even. Uh, and I went light on the sugar just for you. Not light enough, I bet. If I eat this, will you stop bothering me? <laughs> More or less. Just eat it. Just don't give it to some silly child this time. Give it to someone else. Please. Let's get this over with. Oh, you're actually gonna eat it. Interesting. I wonder if he'll actually enjoy it. There's another support for him. Also, he has seven avoidance from that. Jeez. He gets ten from just from Bernadette. Jeez. What about for, uh, Byleth? He gets the most from Sylvain and Bernadette. That's weird. Huh. Cool. Well, we're done with Felix's ones. My Scythia and, and Sylvain. This ain't Sylvain, gonna go good, is I've it? I've been looking for you. Do you have a moment? Hey, Lysithia. I was about to grab some food. Would you like to come along? Actually, yes. That sounds fun. Really? Great. Let's go. You kind of off guard. Hmm. The dining hall isn't exactly relaxing, is it? If there's a next time, I'll take you somewhere with a much better atmosphere. I don't really care about the atmosphere. 
I just wanted to apologize. Apologize, really? Nah, I get why you told me off. There's nothing you need to apologize for. <sighs> Can you just shut your mouth and listen for once? <laughs> Here's something you may have already picked up on. I very much dislike being treated like a child. I've worked very hard to be where I am now, and such treatment makes it feel like all of that work is being ignored. Okay. But I think you're a genius, and you work harder than I ever did. When I was your age? Yes, you already told me all of this. <laughs> Back then, you were just as devoted to goofing off as you are now. <laughs> ah, so I already told you that. What a perfect memory you have. And there it is. You're always so quick to flatter every woman you come across. I knew that, and yet I never thought you would direct your antics at me. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, okay? I know how hard you work, and I really wasn't trying to upset you. I just wanted to chat. I do not mind that you wished to chat with me. In oh, she's fact, blushing. You might even say I was happy about it. Just a bit. Seriously? It sure didn't seem that way. Well, it's true. Your behavior is maddening. But in retrospect, I realized that was you treating me as you do all women, rather than like a child. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it like that at the time, and so I snapped at you. I could have perhaps approached the matter with a tad more maturity. <laughs> Therefore, I would like to apologize. An apology? That is not how these conversations usually turn out. There's no need for that, <laughs> Really, you'll make me blush if you keep this up. <laughs> Listen, Lysithia. I want you to know that I meant every word, even if sincerity is difficult for me. <laughs> You're as lovely as you are clever, and you have this strange charm about you. That's what I really honestly think. There you go again with your false flattery. Uh -oh. I swear to you, it isn't false at all. And it's not flattery if it's the truth. Say what you will, you're still going to have to earn my trust. <laughs> Just this once, I'll cut you some slack. Don't get used to it. It's <laughs> not like I can change who you are as a person. Sweet and tolerant. You never cease to amaze. I'll you leave you with this. Where, don't your head. say things you don't mean. It makes it impossible to tell the lies from the truth. Don't come crying to me if you carry on as you have and end up with no friends. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, Lysithia, your harshness is one of those things I find so charming about you. <sighs> you are exhausting. I guess the positivity is okay, though. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> that was a weird one. Hilda and Sylvain. I wonder if Sylvain's gonna. Hilda, lovely as ever. I swear, when you're around, the sun shines I brighter he's and everything sparkles. Again. Sylvain, you're looking superb as always. Thank you. Are you going out today? If you do, then be careful. I'd hate to think you might hurt your foot again. My foot? Oh, yes! You mean that time you helped me with the books? <laughs> <laughs> no need to worry, the foot's fine now. You brought it up. Better than it was before. I noticed, you know, since I'm always looking at cute girls, and you are one of the cuter ones, your foot was better during the battle. You were running all over, just a regular warrior princess, and less than a day after such a terrible injury. <laughs> Friends were depending on me, so I just had to fight through the pain. Hilda, please don't lie to me. I knew your foot wasn't really hurt, but I returned your books anyway. Take it from a guy <laughs> who does his fair share of pretending to be someone he's not. And I say this as a friend, you are a terrible liar. And those books you left <laughs> in your room for so long, teachers and classmates needed those. So stop lying, and maybe stop being quite as selfish too. Oof. <laughs> You saw right through me. Honestly, I'd completely forgotten that I still had those books. I really was going to return them. Did the librarian say anything to you? Oh, yeah. I got an earful of yelling and accusations meant for you. <laughs> huh? Didn't you just say it was my fault? Nah, I figured the librarian would feel better if they just let loose. No reason to make them wait for you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You got a tongue lashing that should have been directed at me. Tell you what, all will be forgiven if you promise three things. Stop lying, take responsibility, and fall madly in love with me. <laughs> Aw, Sylvain, I do love you, you know? I just 
wouldn't want you for a husband. What? <laughs> why not? Yeah, why? Well, not to you, offend you both you, seem the same. I can't help but feel that your niceness is somehow shallow. My brother would probably cut you into pieces the moment he saw your face. <laughs> your brother sounds uh, terrifying, actually. <laughs> We're losing the thread a bit here. Evidently, he does sound kind of terrifying. Heart, so, I'll just be straightforward about taking advantage of you. <laughs> well, I'll take what I can get. Just don't go causing trouble for guys who aren't me. It's a deal. <laughs> Goodbye for now, Sylvain. Okay, see you, Hilda. It's a funny one. Got a couple more, or one more. No, yep, a couple more. Marianne and Sylvain. I wonder how this is gonna go. Hello, Marianne. Oh, it sounds like an A support. You okay there, Marianne? Won't you at least tell me why you're avoiding me? It hurts. It really does. I'm not avoiding you. I'm just not very good at talking to people in general. I told you I'm on your side, and I meant it. I'm guessing you don't much like talking about crests. Call it a hunch. <laughs> well, um... You finally I'm didn't tell us way, what you know. about that crest? The value of my life has always been dictated by the damn thing. It's not fair to have your worth determined by something you can't control. Growing up in House mm -hmm. Gautier taught me that the hard way. What do you believe determines a person's value? Oh. I like to think it's a person's smile. <laughs> huh? Their smile? A smile. It tells you who someone is. Are they fake or sincere? It also makes you feel stronger when you smile. <laughs> My smile helps me focus and set free all of that power I never asked for. Hmm. I wonder. Wonder what? Try it out, Marianne. Are you gonna try smiling? Be strong willed and put everything you've got into your smile. Smile. Be strong willed. Have <laughs> a smile. <laughs> How's this? Uh. Yeesh. That's a terrific first try. Terrific. If a bit stiff. Lift the corners of your lips just a bit. Oh, I know. Try saying cheese. Cheese? Cheese. Hey, that was good. It might feel a bit unnatural, but you'll get used to it soon enough. Cheese. <laughs> Are you sure this will make me stronger? The face. Guaranteed. It's a great when smile, you know. Let's go to town and show it off. If you lift your eyes from the ground, you'll see that the world has all sorts of amazing things to offer. The more you realize that, the more you'll smile. I'll think about it. Please, don't let me pressure Hopefully you. Hopefully she'll leave some if monastery. Go, I understand. It's not that I don't like going into town. I'm just eager to get back to my room. I want to go practice my smile. Really? If I keep practicing, maybe someday I'll be ready to go into town with you. Oh yeah? <laughs> that sounds great. I can't wait to see your best smile. <laughs> that one's a lighthearted one. I like that. So many left. I didn't think I had this many supports when I was doing this. Uh, my head. When I was training, Where, I should say. Why am I here instead of the infirmary? When did I? Oh boy. How are you feeling, Professor Manuela? Yeah. What happened? Sylvain. What do you need at this hour? You don't remember? Well, you collapse in the infirmary and... That doesn't sound like me. Wait, no, I remember. What happened? The truth is, something sad happened. So I did what I always do to forget my troubles. You drink. Anyway, I found you passed out on the floor, helped you up, then carried you back here. And what were you doing in the infirmary late at night? Not bringing a girl there, I hope. No, nope, I was definitely alone. <laughs> I just, you know, I just nope, had a bad yeah, feeling someone. and I decided to look around to see if anyone needed my help. Oh, my poor head. You okay there? Are you all right? Here, have some water. What a thoughtful young man you are. You're a real gentleman compared to that jerk who just... That good-for-nothing guy who strung you along whispered sweet nothings in your ear, then shattered your heart beyond repair? I agree. He's a jerk. <laughs> oh no. Did I say those things to you? 
Actually, your version had more details. Very Detail. detailed details. <laughs> oh dear. You know, Professor, you're a good catch. It's a shame that you've had no luck with men. You need a guy like me. Somebody oh, who sees no. your beauty so and vain. appreciates how tender you are, emotionally, so vain. and how much love you have to give. You're a smooth talker, even when you don't mean what you say. I'm going to change, so shoot, okay? Sure, sure, I can take a hint. Rest up, Manuela. Thank you, Sylvain. I'm going to try and get some sleep. <laughs> Anything to say about that, Manuela? Call me Manuela and not Professor? That sly little... Although... Hmm... Me? With Sylvain? Now there's a crazy thought. Huh. Yeah, her with Sylvain does sound like it wouldn't be a weird one, I guess. Both kind of fit in each other's personalities wise. But I still think that Ingrid and Sylvain are the closest ones to happening. If anything. Uh, let's do Eloise and Mercedes. Mercedes, hello! I have a request for you. Oh, Eloise! What could you possibly need at this hour? A little birdie told me you're good at telling ghost stories. Ghost stories? I suppose I am. Really? So it's true! Excellent! <laughs> I'd like to hear one of your finest ghost stories. Would you be amenable? Goodness, you want me to share one? Well, certainly. Ghost I'm rarely asked really. to tell ghost stories. Which should I tell? Perhaps the one I heard in the monastery the other day. Oh, oh, wait a moment. Is something the matter? Yeah, you okay, Eloise? Well, I was only asking whether you'd tell me. The telling itself will have to be another time. <laughs> Are you sure? It's no trouble right now. He... No, he's... I have to steal myself. <laughs> be scared. Uh, I mean, I have something important to do. I see. That's a shame, but I suppose it can't be helped. <laughs> if you don't mind my asking, why the sudden interest in hearing a ghost story? Well, you see, uh, ghosts terrify me. <laughs> but I'm a knight. Someday, somewhere, I may have to deal with one. Maybe. Hmm. A knight is afraid of ghosts. <laughs> yes. Poor Eloise. Quite embarrassing. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. Even knights can't be stoic toward everything. <laughs> I'm impressed that you're working so hard to face your fear. Oh, it's nothing, really. <laughs> I will tell you my scariest ghost story the next chance I get. Well, it needn't be your very scariest. A uh, uh, moderately scary story will suffice. <laughs> He's got freaking nightmares. Thank you for taking the time. <laughs> poor Eloise, man. <laughs> that poor dude's gonna have nightmares at the end of it. I can already see it happening. Is that the... No, she's got a couple others. Ferdinand, Hilda... Let's finish off Cyril. Is he passed out in the library again? Five years later. Did same... Did fall asleep here again? Yep. Also, I'm gonna move a little bit. Sorry. There's nothing to cover him with. He'll catch cold if he's here too long. Oh well, I guess I have no other Wish options. I had something to drink. I'll have I finished to take off care my of this drink in the middle of the last episode. Ah! What? What's happening? <laughs> I'm keeping you warm so you don't catch cold. Um, Would you just do I'm a hug? Sorry. Did I make you uncomfortable? Yeah, she was hugging him. I, I was just surprised. Th thanks, Mercy. <laughs> oh, I'm happy to hear you call me that. You know, I seem to find you in here pretty often. Do you have a favorite book? Yeah, do you? Nah, but it's always real quiet here, so it's where I like to sleep. I see. You always seem so wrapped up in your work. That is, whenever you're not sleeping in the library. Do you have many friends here? No, not really. Oh, poor Cyril but still thinks he has no friends. Having friends 
is much more fun than spending all of your time alone. Nah, I don't want people treating me like an outsider. I'm better off alone. An outsider? You? Who would possibly say? Oh, so you don't think anyone thinks that? Should I tell you what happened to me before I came here? Yeah, sure. Oh no, you really don't have to. I didn't mean to bring up such difficult memories. But you know... Everyone here sees you as a friend. <laughs> Even me. I see you as a good friend. <laughs> Mercy. I'm sorry. I sure like everyone here too, but... It feels like you're... I don't know. It sounds weird maybe, but I think you're something different than a friend. What? Different? In what way? Do you not like me? No, it's not that. I can't... You know how sometimes you can't explain things? This is that. If I had a sister, I think that might be how it feels being around you. Oh, okay. Really? Like a big sister. <laughs> That's just as well. You remind me of my little brother. Oh, you got a brother? Yep. You're I do. Probably I haven't Rita. seen him in so long. But he's it's not called like Rita. He's not really my he's... brother anymore. But Frick, you can count on me if you need anything at all. I'll oh, do my he... best to help you out. I can count on you for anything? Start with a C. Wow. Oh no, it was a meal, wasn't it? No, it was a meal. I don't know why he changed his name to Yuritsa, though. Uh, Hilda. Don't know how this one's gonna go. Goodness, Hilda, you look worried. Is something the matter? Yeah, are you okay? Oh, Mercedes. I was on my way to the greenhouse to water the flowers. Okay. But I have a meeting with the professor right now, so I'll have to be quick. Oh, okay. It must be urgent to call you at this hour of the morning. Go see what the professor needs from you. I can take care of the flowers. Oh, are you sure? Thank you so much. Oh. It's no problem She's at all. She's taking advantage of Let everyone that she can you. Thank you again. get I'll to you lunch. do work for her. Right. I'm off. Oops, my meeting with the professor was tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Mercedes. Oh. Hilda. Hmm. Still no Mercedes. Saves. All she had to do was water a few plants. I didn't think it would take this much time. It's almost noon. Maybe I'll go see what she's up to. Yeah, what is she up to? And that's the last of that. Perfect. What did she? What's taking you so long? Water the entire place. Oh, Hilda, is your meeting with the professor over already? Um, yes. It's almost lunchtime. What are you still doing here? Lunchtime? I hadn't realized how late it was. After watering the flowers, I noticed that the greenhouse was in need of some tidying. Oh, come I must have gotten a bit carried away. It's so pleasant working in here. <laughs> oh, pleasant. Sure. You're such a kind person. No, no. It was my pleasure. Anyway, shall we head to the dining hall? <laughs> Hopefully you don't run into the professor on the way there. I should have just done it myself. Waiting for her was so exhausting. Rude. What was that, Hilda? Come along, I'm hungry. Uh, coming! <laughs> what should we eat? That was a little rude, Hilda. Not gonna lie. Uh, let's see here. Keep going down the list. Ferdinand and Mercedes. I don't know how many we have left, but I'm hoping that we're at least halfway through them. Oh, Mercedes, this is unexpected. Hello, Ferdinand. Did you come to pray? I did. Oh. I quite like the atmosphere in the cathedral. Huh. Didn't it think that. It is holy and solemn. Perfectly suited to a noble, wouldn't you say? Uh, I guess so. You guess so? I think the matter is rather clear-cut. It is incumbent upon nobles that we pray regularly to the goddess. The piety of the nobles is a model for commoners. It teaches them the value of devotion. Okay. Absolutely. I know exactly what you mean. I couldn't agree more. These days, many nobles scarcely, if ever, pray. Look hmm. around. You and I are alone in this cathedral. It is really quite a shame. Ah, well, <laughs> I don't really know that I count as a noble anyway. 
I am She's afraid more of a colony. seems to be losing its way. When you pray, you're usually alone, right? Um, yes, you're right. I usually am. Precisely. Where are the others? Of course you cannot force people to worship. That is out of the question. Nobles must determine for themselves what they will believe and how they will pray. Welcome. A religion foisted on you without your say is not much of a religion at all. Do you not agree? Yes, I definitely agree. Definitely agree. What? On the other hand, we cannot stand idly by while... Um, it was great talking to you, but I'm getting pretty <laughs> sleepy. Oh. I'm gonna head off to bed. Good night. <laughs> you made her uncomfortable. All in all, one has to conclude. Mercedes, where did she go? I must have inspired her to go out and revive the faith. Perhaps I should do the same. I cannot let her show me up. <laughs> you need to show up Edelgard, not, not Mercedes. She doesn't want to fight you, dude. How many more do I have left? Let's finish up Aloise with Gilbert. Time for a fishing How trip. It, Gilbert? Sir Aloise, have you also come to fish? If I am in your way, you need but say so. Oh no, no, I, I was passing by. Please, carry on. Hold on, you haven't caught a single fish yet. Are you feeling unwell? No, it is nothing of the sort. What's going on? I am not here to catch a fish today. Huh. So you're fishing, but not in hopes of catching a fish. How unusual. Oh, I see. You're a vegetarian. <laughs> no. Obviously not. I'm using this time to examine my past deeds. When I am fishing, the world fades, and I am left alone with myself. Oh, okay. That is, uh, perhaps the correct way to fish is the way you do, Alois. Simply for the pleasure. I deeply <laughs> regret I am unable to be the angling companion you desire. Ah, uh, no need, Gilbert. A thought occurs to me. And what might that be? Yeah, what kind of thought is that? It was Captain Gerald who first taught me how to fish. We had spare time between missions, and he said it was the perfect hobby. Is that <laughs> so? He was always looking out on the water as though lost in thought. Oh. Perhaps he wasn't fishing to catch fish either. Perhaps he was facing something within himself. Oh. Silently struggling with his thoughts and hiding the struggle from me and everyone else. I guess we cannot that know sense. the minds of the departed. Therefore, we wrestle with their ghosts. Yes, that's true. Oh. Very well. I will join you today after all. Hmm. Please teach me this art of think. fishing without fishing. I think it would do me some good to He does have some secrets I would like to know about. Think but fondly about my old mentor. You don't have much about him. Of course. Him, other than my his pleasure. notebook and the small teachings we got from him during the academy phase. But maybe in maybe in the uh, path that opens up due to the expansion, we might get maybe maybe he survives or something like that. I don't know. Cause there's a character model for Sothis, but I'm pretty sure she's not playable. Training on a day off. I'm pretty sure we have every playable character right now. No arrest, apparently. Is there any need to be so diligent when nobody is watching? Ah, well, at least I can bear witness. The only reason why I say that is because there was a, uh, what do you call it, video on my recommendations that I ended up watching, and it was, uh, the critical hit quotes for Professor Geralt, is there something you need? Sothis, and, uh, ah, Rhea. you noticed me. No, no, which you no, normally wouldn't observing. hear because they don't crit. For disturbing you. So I thought it would be interesting to watch just to see what they would say. Although I fail to understand why you would watch my training. Oh, well, I no clue, Joel. Because They're I find it quite not. interesting. So Your I know Geralt's not at the moment, since he's obviously emotions. dead. But 
elegant is the word. Ray and so this I, I no find it on. quite satisfying to observe. In fact, I might say I was mesmerized. Is that so? If only you showed a bit more emotion on your face, just to sell the rest of it, you come off a bit tense. Yeah, he does. Training is difficult, a strain on the body. Surely it is natural for one to be tense. <laughs> oh, I know well how difficult training can be. But in your case, it's as though you're punishing yourself. Yeah, I'm he... sorry. It's simply how I am. Does look like he's no, punishing no. himself. What do I know of your Just by the way he acts. My criticism was perhaps but unnecessary. We already know that story. Still, he is punishing I himself. I do feel you are too hard on yourself. Would it not be easier to live a little more freely? Find something that makes you happy and embrace it wholeheartedly. It would do you a world of good. <laughs> I thank Could you for your out. advice, Professor Hanneman. But I cannot live as you do. Such a way of life is not permitted to me. Now, if you will pardon me, I will return to my training. Hmm. Not permitted? I think the only one not permitting you joy, dear Gilbert, is yourself. True. Hopefully we can get him to be happy. I would not mind that. To another plane one of uh, Raff and Plane. I didn't even know I had my support point. <laughs> you guys in your war cries. They're getting better at it though. Here you go. Drink up. Oh, thank you. This water tastes absolutely divine. Your shouts are really coming from the gut now. I bet you're getting stronger, too. <laughs> I'm not so sure I'm stronger, but somehow, when I shout, I'm able to move more books than normal. <laughs> Although my brother becomes very anxious anytime he hears me shouting. <laughs> I do suppose my body feels a bit sturdier now, though. I'm so very grateful to you, Raphael. Oh, no. Thank you. I'm just happy to have someone to shout with. But... <laughs> Doesn't all this shouting keep you from your precious workout regimen? Nah, don't worry about that. I think I'm in better shape now than I was before. True. My muscles work overtime when they hear you shouting so close to me. Isn't that wonderful? Come along, Raphael's muscles. We can do this. <laughs> it is my wish that someday I'll be able to lift a log all on my own with these arms of mine. <laughs> I'm sure they will. I used to think you were a lost cause, but look at you now. If you really want to get there, you got to start training your muscles when we shout, all right? You've already got big brains, but if we can get you big muscles too, you're going to be invincible. Invincible? <laughs> I like the sound That'd of that. That'd be funny to see. That just gave me an idea. I know what I want to do with my next build plane. I'm going to turn her into a fighter. Oh wait, can- no, she can't become a war master. She can- you, she can build up fists fighting skills though. Hmm. I'll have to think of something to make that work. I don't know if I can, she has the growth rates to make it work though. So, okay, well, but- as, as always, uh, we have hit the the end of the episode, and we'll have to continue with the supports in another time. We have, hopefully we've gotten through most of them. It looks like there's not many more left compared to what we had before. But, thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, keep being spooky, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out. Looks like we're at the end of class. I want to thank you for showing up today. Please hit the bell and subscribe. If you liked anything you saw today, thank you. And see you all tomorrow. Peace out.